everybody and welcome on my channel. This is Alexon from Angel Carter Mency, and it's my pleasure to welcome you today on this new video series. So to uh, actually re reward you and to thank you for your support, for your love and for subscribing to the channel and making all this good stuff, I really wanted to uh, reward each and every one of you and I wanted to give you all a reading. Okay, so I thought that I should do an annual reading using the Lunar Mark Oracle for each of the zodiac signs. Okay, so these are general reading, and it's a month by month reading where you will find uh, information, guidance, messages that will really help you get the most of your year 2018. I also advise you to check the videos that uh, actually matches your, uh, your moon sign, your rising sign, to get even more uh, wonderful and beautiful messages. So I look forward to your subscription, to your comments, and I leave you with your reading and wish you all a wonderful 2018. Hey Sagittarius, welcome on your 2018 Lunar War reading. So it's a pleasure for me to do this reading for you. It's a general one and we are going to look at your uh, year month by month and see uh, what the card has to say. Okay, And if uh, you are interested in uh, having a personal reading with me, uh, tailor-made, uh, you will find the link in the description box below so you can order one, okay? So without further ado, let's see what 2018 has in store for you. So your cards has been dealt into 12 positions and each position represents a year of 2018. So we're going to start with the month of January. You have the fish, the child and the birds, okay? So um, there will be some prosperous talking uh, in, during the month of January. So uh, it will be also about perhaps, um, you know, having a baby, uh, adopting um, a pet, adopting a baby as well. It's really, you know, expanding the couple. This is the card of the couple, the birds, and here we have the child, okay? And uh, the fish is about uh, prosperity, making things happen, being in the flow. So January will be a month about that, okay? It will be also maybe talking about your finan financial status, making little transactions or buying little things, and uh, perhaps you will be, uh, you know, planning things ahead to see uh, what you are going to do with your finances during the, the following month, okay? Uh, it's starting quite positively with this combination of cards. Uh, it can be also someone from um, a foreign country coming to visit you. It also can relate to... Um, uh, a young person who wants to fly by his own and go to the adventure, perhaps, you know, taking his own house, uh, living by himself, taking his independence, okay? So this will be the main thing happening for you, Sagittarius, in the month of January, okay? And January will be a month where we're going to talk a lot. February is a month of success. Um, it seems like after difficult situation, after, you know, um, being a little bit in the dark, confused and not knowing what to do, um, you know, being feeling guilty, having resentment, now February you're going to release all that and try something new. Uh, it's also uh, a combination telling you that new doors are opening for you. Uh, you can try something different, okay, in terms of relationship there is still some difficulties going on even if people feel that you are not you know compatible i am seeing here that you know maybe it, this is a strange couple this is a strange like um 
you know, commitment, but it works. Okay, it works. It works for you. Don't let other person tell you that what you're doing and what you are feeling, what you're living is not, you know, in alignment or whatever. Trust your gut, trust your, uh, your intuition. It will, it will be quite strong. With the key, nothing wrong can happen even if the situation, situation sorry, seems to be confused and, you know, not... Uh, not going to uh, actually uh, be clear and resolved okay so this is February moving to March you have the lilies it's a month to need, you need to have patience because I, the lilies is all about patience and the free cards coming with it is a very slow card the cross is a slow card the anchor is a slow card and the lilies is another card that tells you that things will not happen overnight okay so um march is a month where you are going to think about your priorities okay you're going to stick to whatever uh you have planned okay uh you want to actually find peace and harmony with the lilies even if the situation is quite difficult it's like you know holding on something it, ha it have weight on your shoulders it it seems like the past is dra dragging you down you need to keep your head up okay and look what what is important for you and what bring you peace and joy okay and also be true to yourself okay maybe some people will want to pull you in their group or you know uh push you to take their uh, defense or their favors. So be cautious, be your own self and don't let anyone, 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 anyone like convince you to do things that you don't want to. Moving to the month of April, the sun is back. There is uh, some kind of transformation coming there with the coffin and the book. The book opens up, you know, it, the coffin ends the influence of the book everything is clear everything is neat nothing is actually hidden or kept from you the diamond card is about working making things happen it can be also about creating things you know and trust that there is success at the end of the day you are meeting success even if you have to deal with difficult information difficult uh, revelation okay so keep this uh, positive mindset and everything is going to be good for the month of May we have a very intriguing combination which is very powerful as well because the card comes in order 16 17 and 18 the it's a well shuffle deck as, as you as you have seen and here we see that things are getting even better Okay, you have two cards of protection, which are the, the stars and the dog, which really brings this uh, feeling that you're safe, okay? And all three cards are cards of heart, and heart are really, you know, uh, good omen when it comes to cardomancy. So here we see that uh, you are protected, and these two cards are my card for the guardian angel okay so during this month th there will be some kind of um, angelic communication you will be like you know connected to heaven to spirits you may be you know encountering uh, spirit guides or um, guardian angels or you know deceased loved ones but there will be some kind of spiritual experience coming up for you in the month of may okay and pay attention to the signs and symbols that are here really to guide you you will see that there will be visual um, evidence that you are not alone that you are protected and that you have spirit has your back okay so then to the month of june <coughs> sorry to the month of june we see that uh things are moving again in a positive way we have the, the the rider the bouquet and we have the garden okay very positive cards to have so you're going to meet people okay if you're single you may be uh, meeting a delicate woman the bouquet beautiful woman that will really 
keep, keep your attention that will really you know hit your eye if you can tell that uh, it may be someone that you will be meeting in some kind of festivity or reunion or you know with groups of people but it's really positive so a new person comes in your life and this is someone coming from the from group okay so it could be like that you go night clubbing and then you find this lady coming out of the blue you know very seductive and really um, bringing you know this um, emotions to you if you are a woman same thing here again encountering someone then you will meet someone who would social butterfly okay with the rider and the garden this is someone who doesn't stay okay you are the woman here with the bouquet and here is the man and the garden describe him so someone very festive someone who really likes to go you know out and be with friends be with people someone who is very popular but not really wanting to be into a relationship uh, he's very handsome very seductive very delicate with beautiful skin beautiful hair you can't miss him you know you will know him, know when you when you see him you will see, you will say oh the bouquet that will be very nice so for the month of august july sorry for the month of july july we have the heart we have the ring and the um the moon very nice combination again it's uh, what i'm being shown here it's that the month of july is you know things start in june and then continues to july and to july there is a commitment coming you know uh, romantic commitment with the moon and the heart it can't be anything else than romantic it's you know maybe proposing you or it can be also um, a wedding anniversary that you celebrate with a romantic dinner or romantic you know holiday uh, there is definitely something happening in July which is about love about commitment and about romantic being romantic and it's also a card that tells you to trust your heart because the moon is the card of uh, emotions and intuition and the heart is about feeling feeling the intuitive inside that we get for feelings and commit to it you know trust your feelings trust your feelings and you will be pointed to the right direction so august now August we have some um, difficult news coming ahead okay so maybe some decision that needed to be taken uh, a few months uh, back is now being taken during the month of August anyway you will know about that you will be uh, you will be kept informed and yeah there is definitely something uh, concerning news coming up for you the um, the mountain can also stand for um, difficulty in your decision it can be also you know not talking to someone face to face but rather you know sending a text or sending a, an email or a letter to tell him things okay so this is what will happen in the month of august okay the month of september there is changes coming up okay there is um yeah there is quite difficult moment coming in this month of uh, of september okay very stressful situation maybe a woman coming towards you it could be you know someone visiting you come someone coming from afar and that you know comes for a visit but she's she really annoys you by the way she act she can be someone very picky uh, she can be someone that don't actually listen to others opinion or decision she is imposing herself so try to stay you know uh, stress-free even if it, if it would be difficult okay uh, another meaning of that could be you know in terms of friendship a woman that really takes on you okay the woman only knows you when she needed the most and use you as she needs and then you know uh, when everything is resolved she will turn to someone else or to another situation so 
pay attention to these people around you. So the month of uh, October here, we have the woman, which is the female querent. And um, it seems like how I look at the card here is the direction that the woman is looking at. She's looking at all the cards here and she's looking at the, the, the bear and also at the scythe, telling me that, oh, she actually, you would actually make decisions regarding uh, a relationship with your mother or a financial um, issue that you need to decide and cut through. Okay, it could be also some danger coming up towards you, and then you have the bear there, a card of protection to really protect you. In any case, everything that you have to deal with during this month of October, it seems like you will be helped in you know in a miraculous way, or you will be guided to the right decision, the right place, and the right person. So it's really nice to know that as well. November. We have the man, the tree, and the clover, which is telling me that, yeah, you may be uh, getting some uh, health issues in November. It can, it can uh, relate to allergies. It can relate to, um, you know, insects as well. So pay attention to these. And in any case, the general way, you will be very lucky. Uh, during this month of November, you will be lucky in transaction. It seems like things that you were not able to do or that had failed at first. It seems like you have another option, another solution given to you. So try it at your best and really think this time before acting. You really need to pose yourself and to connect, you know, before uh, taking any decision. Now we move to the last month of the year, and here we find the, the fox, the tower, and the house. So this is telling me everything about working from your home, okay? Uh, the last month of 2018 will be all, all about work, re reorganizing things, reorganizing your, ho your home in a new way. It's also uh, really um, taking the time to think about things. And yeah, things will look really, really great with the house and the, and the tower, which, which are part of buildings. There is nothing to worry about. Things you will be protected anyway. When if someone want to come in, an intruder or whatever, you will be safe. Okay. So Sagittarius, this was your reading for 2018. Of course, I look forward to your comment uh, to tell me how the card has related to relate to your uh, situation. And yeah, the deck that I'm using in this video is the Lenormand Oracle Cards by me, Alexandre Masra, and it's going to be published by Schiffer Publishing this coming, this coming spring, sorry. And you can pre-order them from Amazon, from Barnes & Nobles, from Schiffer Publishing, and I'm going to leave the link in the description box below where you can order this beautiful deck. It will be less than $20, I believe. It's a very, very good price for the, the, for the product. And you will also uh, be able to buy the companion book, The Art of the Normal Reading, that comes with, uh, that come with, the, with the deck, but sold separately. And you can pre-order them as well from Amazon, from Bonds and Novels, and from uh, Schiffer Publishing, okay? So don't forget to subscribe. And yeah, I wish you all a wonderful 2018 and look forward to connect with you with more English videos.